outside of the tough enough ring, Jake Gutierrez. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we continue here at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, with our next bout of the evening. This bout is in the 135-pound class. Our referee, once again, will be Kim Winslow. Introducing first, she entered the ring wearing the black, purple, and white trunks, and she represents Team Girls. Coming to us from Portland, Oregon, here is Kylie Martin. Her opponent fighting out of the blue corner is wearing the black trunks with white trim, and she represents a Gracie Fighter Gym from Oakland, California. Introducing Paige Fierce Zio. All right, Paige Zio in the black and Kylie Martin in the black with the purple, but I'm just gonna go ahead and tell you who our special <laughs> guest is so we can hear him talk. We have uh, Skyscrape from the Tap Out crew joining us ringside. All Yes, yes. What do you think about this? We have all girls, all girls, man, tough girls. Buddy. I like it, man. You know, we need to see a lot more girls out there fighting. You know, they get they, they get a little bad rap, you know, but uh, I, I think it's good to see. I want to see it, you know, keep going, keep keep doing it. Well, here we are at the beginning of round number one. Nice oh, kick. Beautiful head kick there by Paige Gio. Now, mm -hmm. Paige Gio actually trains with one of my friends, Darren Bone Crusher. We spent a lot of time at Fairtex, so you can definitely see the, the jiu-jitsu skills. Look at the, the muscle. Kicks. Look at the muscle and the guillotine and the tip that she's going for. She takes a second to look over to a corner and uh, loses. Watch out for those, though. Paige Zio comes oh, out nice in a punches. blaze. Nice punchy. Left hand, I believe this fight may end early. As you can see, Kylie Martin kind of turning her head just a little bit, trying to weather the storms, Grace. I know. It's weird. You can tell she's at Fairtex. She's like she's training with Kenny Hahn out there. <laughs> with them kicks. Good kicks, man. Good kicks. And of course, it's a historic event. Could you ever imagine way back when you guys started their scrape that you'd have an all-female MMA card? Never, man, because back in the day, it was when we see a girl fight, it was they bring a girl out of the crowd and she'd fight a drunk guy. <laughs> I swear we've seen it. So, you know, to see girls out here and, they, and they've got skills, you know. They, oh, yeah. So definitely. it's great to see. They're in shape. They got skills. Yeah. It's something that you may not know, but the fans at home know now. The rounds are just two minutes long, so the ladies really don't feel each other out. They get in there and throw leather, as you just saw. Three, three, three rounds? Three two-minute rounds. Gotcha. You got to go all out. Yeah, you could do a lot of work in, in, in six minutes, six man. Minutes. Absolutely. Well, here we are, Kylie Martin on top in the black and purple. She was absorbing most of the punishment early in this first round, but now I she's got she, a dominant position. I think she feels more comfortable, you know, on the ground. Wow, we have a lot of fans in the house uh -oh. here. We've got Joe Rogan, who just walked in, along with Eddie Kenny, Bravo. Eddie Bravo, yeah. Joey Diaz, here. Ari Shafir. we got Vinny, Vinny over here. here. Vinny, yeah, uh, absolutely, Vinny. From over at the Tap Out Research and oh, Training Facility, Vinny? guys. Oh, we got Vinny. Americana going. Let's see if she can finish it. Oh, time ran out. Kylie Martin going for Americana just at the end of that round. She absorbed so much punishment. Who would you give the round to? I mean, she ended up in dominant position. You know, it's just so close because in the beginning, the strikes, I definitely went with Paige. But at the end, you know, Kylie going for that Americana, you're going to have to see. Um, two more rounds to go. It's just amazing at the level of uh, the quality of fighting. You know? Not I to hear mention you. all the people that are coming in here, you know? Look at all these guys. <laughs> what do you think about the crowd? Not just the celebs, but I mean, you walked in here. What did you think about the, the turnout here? I'll tell right? you, when I, walked in, when I walked in, I thought, oh, there'd be maybe a 1,000 people, but it's almost a packed house in here. I don't know how many it seats, you know, maybe three, 4,000, but I was shocked when I walked in to see this many people for an all-girls fight. I told you to come down here. There's going to be some great action tonight. And I'm the, glad you came down, of course. And the ring girls. I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you staring. This is actually the best, the most, and the best girl that we've seen so far today. I would have to agree with you. All right, the beginning of round number two, Kylie Martin in the black with the purple trim. Paige, Paige starting with those strikes again. She has beautiful straight punches. That left hand there is right in the home. And she's got a beautiful left liver kick. She sure does. Kylie got a blink in her eye trying to weather the storm again. Ooh, nice low kick. I think she should go back to that left level liver kick. And you can see by looking at the two fighters that Zio is definitely a little faster. It looks a little bit stronger. She's I a little think bigger her... too. Correct. I think. Correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there was that left middle she's talking about. She goes for the kick again. What she needs to do, like in the first round, is set it up with punches. 
And from my perspective, she looks like she has a, a big advantage, you know, on the feet. She's definitely a better striker. Yeah. But she's waiting for some reason, maybe waiting for her opponent to open up and give her a, you know, an opening to kick or hit. I think she's just waiting for the knockout timing. <laughs> I think uh, <laughs> she's looking for that number. She throws a left hand and then a backhand to boot. Here goes for the guillotine. Oh, Beautiful just the knee. knees instead. <laughs> Beautiful knee. And once again, another beautiful nice knee. Nice knee. got to watch out. Getting a little low. Here's a good chance for a, a body kick. She's oh, oh, she's putting nice the pressure punches. on. She's, she's turning, turning her away. back. It's Kylie Martin. Nice exactly. Knees. Ooh, that might have kicked her on the chin. I don't know. Good stop. Good or the nose. She didn't stop the fight, though. She didn't stop the fight. The knee no, went to the knee chin. To the Absolutely. Yeah, well, they, the can't knee, they can't knee to the face? No. There's okay. something. Okay. A couple of rules for amateur fights, no knees to the face once they're in guard or anything like that as well, Scrape. You can't throw elbows to the face, and you can't have blood, so the doctor's going to have to stop and wipe the blood off of the fighters. Anytime they have, have blood, they have to stop because you can't have blood. They're not tested for the different gotcha. diseases okay, and whatnot. Okay. And I don't think it was an intentional knee. I think it was just, you know, the part of pulling the head down at the same time going for her body, but at the same time, she might have been pulling back. And the result was, you know, I thought it was a clip to the chin, but it must have been on the nose. I saw a little trickle of blood beforehand, and I think it might have been on the forehead. But after that knee, obviously, it, it connected somewhere near the nose because there's a lot of blood coming out of there. And you see our doctor always safety first. You don't want to see anyone get hurt. You want to see someone have an opportunity to train and come back and fight once again. And you got, and you got a UFC referee in there. So that's always good. Yeah. This is correct. She's a professional, so she's seen a lot worse, and she knows exactly what she's doing. Very good, and there we have it. <laughs> there we have it. <laughs> Skyscrape. In the house, baby. In the house. Forget about showing Ken Hahn or, or, or myself. Let's go ahead and show Scrape. <laughs> Kenny Hahn, Kenny Hahn's prettier though. Kenny Hahn, we got all the nationalities up here. We got a pretty black guy, we got the pretty Asian, and we got the ugly white boy. How about the, the one brother with no hair like yourself? But we have another stoppage because the crowd is booing. I'm going to go ahead and go by their reaction at the fight. It might be another no contest. It looks oh, like it's been stopped really. once again. And once again, great action, and it just. Sometimes it happens. It's, it's a shame. It's truly a shame that the fights have to end this way because the fighters don't want it to end this way. The crowd doesn't want it to end this way. But at least they got to see a lot of good action for that one round. You know, that's one of those things where, you know, that you, if you're not really mentally focused, you're going to slip and throw it to the face. You know, it's like some of the elbows, you know. You know, Kenny, some of the downward elbows or a lot of different things is it's, it's natural instinct reaction to pull the head and knee the face. You know, that's what we train for. Exactly. So that, you and know, when you get tired or you get excited, all yeah. those things, sometimes it slips, you know. It's yeah. not intentional, it just sometimes right. it happens. You know? But I like to see that, you know. Although it's against the rule, I like to see it because that's how the sport is. Exactly. You know that that's exactly what they're training for and they're doing yeah. what they've been trained to do. The worst thing would be to have someone, you know, rely on the rules. Right. Protect well, yourself at all times. That's the major yeah, thing. Yeah. You definitely want to protect yourself at all times. And <laughs> right now, Jake Gutierrez, who, of course, is our official ring announcer, is just getting the word from the judges on the outside of the ring. He'll make his way inside to give you your official word. But I, I feel a little bit for the ladies, the fact that they had to end this way. And, of course, the crowd who came here to watch knockouts, they're not getting a chance to see the knockouts in this fight. All right. Hate to they are watching some good technique, though. You right? are correct. Amazing at the level of technique. And you don't want to win or lose this way, you know? You don't. Well, Jake Gutierrez has made his way into the ring. Let's get our official announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest ends in the second round. Due to an accidental foul, the referee did allow the fighter to continue. The red corner chose not to. Therefore, the winner by TKO victory in the blue corner, Paige Fierce. Zero. That's good. First things first, I have to say that Jake Gutierrez did a magnificent job of explaining exactly what happened inside the ring just now. Oh, that was good. Absolutely. I mean, he, he told us the corner didn't want to continue, so you have it. Paige Zio via TKO in the first round. She picks up a big win, and the fans got to see a knockout, albeit not the knockout they wanted in the Tough Enough Fighting championship. And that's the hard thing, you know, being a trainer is knowing when to 